så vi var med om 2008. Det här var ju på natten mellan julafton och juldagen. Vid ett tiden så fick vi larm om att det brann i ett bostadsområde. Och det är inte ovanligt med nattlarm för oss, det får vi relativt ofta. Däremot den bild som mötte oss när vi kom fram var ju annorlunda. Ganska snart fick vi ju uppfattningar om att det här var en stor brand på gång. Klockan halv ett ringde telefonen och då fick jag samtal från vårt vaktbolag som meddelade att det var en stor brand uppe på geografigränd. Så jag begav mig direkt upp dit och träffade då räddningsledaren, brandchefen, som hade då påbörjat evakuering av våra hyresgäster till Kolbäckskolan. För oss var det viktigt att så tidigt som möjligt få tag i våra hyresgäster. Det var ju faktiskt många som inte var hemma när det brann. Redan klockan 12 på juldagen hade vi fått kontakt med 98 procent av våra hyresgäster. Men man får väl ändå säga att hyresgästerna efter omständigheterna mådde ganska bra. Men man var ju typ chockad över att deras hem hade brunnit och hur mycket som var förstört. Ja, allting hade brunnit ner och då ställde vi oss frågan, vad kan vi göra? Vad kan vi göra som är nytt? Så man kan säga att grunden var att ha ett miljöperspektiv, det var det ena. Det andra var att hitta en bra miljö, en bra boendemiljö. Där man kan skapa platser för gemenskap. Och det tredje var att det fanns en samhörighet med det gamla Ålid hem. Reconstruction work started in September 2010. The first step, the construction of four buildings containing 137 apartments, was the start of a far-reaching upgrade of the district, aimed at turning Olid Hem into a safe, pleasant and energy-saving place to live. The whole project was based on a sound approach to the natural cycle and long-term human, financial and environmental sustainability. A significant reduction in energy consumption, a waste management system which reduces environmental impact, increased use of environmentally appropriate materials, energy saving transport options and increased commitment to environmental issues have been the starting points for the Bostaden Housing Company's environmental approach and the sustainable Orlid Hem project. The construction of the new homes is based on the best possible environmental choice with respect to construction material and production solutions. The building frames were cast on site from concrete and most of the installation systems have been embedded in the concrete. Parts such as beams, stairs, balconies and pillars have also been manufactured on site. Particular efforts have been made in the area of fire safety. The ceiling height of the bright, cosy apartments has created a feeling of extra space. The floor plans are carefully thought out, making the apartments easy to furnish and electrical appliances have been chosen for the best possible energy efficiency. As part of the Green Citizens of Europe scheme, Bostaden is working to raise environmental awareness. Ecolog is an apartment display with a touch screen for individual metering of household electricity and of hot and cold water. It is installed in all newly built Bustarden apartments. Ecolog enables the residents to monitor and improve their energy consumption with the result of any changes being shown immediately on the display. In partnership with Bumio University, Bustarden has developed four alternative design interfaces 
to make the Ecolog user-friendly. To establish how design can influence energy consumption, Bustarden is testing the interfaces with the help of a selected group of tenants. The design in the outside environment has been planned by Bustarden and the residents working closely together. They have, for example, examined communal areas such as laundrettes, basements, green outdoor spaces, car parking, footpaths, cycle paths, stairwells and entrances. They have also taken part in detailed discussions regarding the outdoor environment and the design of the winter garden. The feeling of neighbourliness and the need for places where residents can meet up have been prioritised in the rebuilding of Geography Grand. The focal point has been the Winter Garden, an 150 square metre meeting space which can be used both by the Olidheim residents and for cultural events and study visits hosted by Technical Visits. The Winter Garden can seat around 50 people and is equipped with kitchen facilities and state-of-the-art audio-visual presentation facilities. Next to the Winter Garden is a building with a sauna and a relaxation area for the benefit of the tenants at Geography Grand. There is a lot of national and international interest in sustainable Oliedham. The model, where a housing company, energy company and local authority work together to achieve optimised climate smart solutions, has generated particular interest among countries with a similar climate. Sustainable Olidham is a unique and important pilot project which focuses on the necessary social, technical, environmental and financial changes without which we cannot move closer to the ultimate goal, a sustainable urban district.